Hi, this is Aaron and Linda with Traveling Flamingo, and today we're at Geyser's Point Bar and Grill, which is a great spot to relax and enjoy some great food inside the Wilderness Lodge in Walt Disney World, Florida. Today we're going to tell you everything you need to know about Linda's favorite hotel bar and lounge. Stay tuned for all of that, coming up. said this is my favorite bar lounge to hang out at and geyser's point is located in the wilderness lodge at the back between the two pools it's got a terrific location right on bay lake where you can enjoy the electrical parade as well as a snack in between swimming breaks also it's just a boat ride away from the magic kingdom so if you're looking to take a quiet break from all of that excitement that can happen there this is a nice location to just quickly hop on a boat and go and enjoy a drink so from an atmosphere and theming perspective, it's very well themed. It keeps the consistency with the Wilderness Lodge theming. So it has a rustic Pacific Northwest vibe with lots of exposed cedar beams and stonework. It's very organic, feels very nice and warm. It's also got a nice little fireplace. It's an open air restaurant with lots of covered seating to enjoy regardless of whether it's cold or warm. So on cooler winter days, they have space heaters so you can enjoy wonderful views of Bay Lake. There's lots of different seating options, including a bar, relaxed chairs, and tables and chairs. There's even a quick service window if you want to grab something to go while you're swimming at the pool. Wilderness Lodge is one of our favorite hotels, and we do have a room tour if you're interested in what the rooms here look like. As well, Hangar Bar, which is one of my favorite bars on property, which is at Disney Springs, and a whole bunch of other videos. So if you're interested in Disney videos and you want to see what the properties have to offer, go ahead and consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. So on to my favorite part, the food. We'll take a quick look at the menu. It is American style food and they offer a lunch, dinner, a lounge menu, and also they have a kids menu. So we're gonna start off looking at the lunch and dinner menu. They offer a variety of options, including crispy fried oysters, which are $13. They have a grilled portobello salad for $10, as well as a bison burger for $16. The menu isn't huge, but there's a good variety there. For dessert, they have a campfire brownie for $6. I love some brownies, as well as dark roasted coffee infused with gelato, and that's $4.69. I would be very interested in trying that next time we go back. For the lounge menu, they have a handcrafted charcuterie for $14, edamame for $5, as well as roasted salmon for $16. The drink menu is a lot of fun and very unique. They've got a ton of signature drinks. So a few of them include the Huckleberry Punch for $15, Black Cherry Mule for $14, a Frosé for $13. They also have a Captain's Mai Tai for $13 and an extensive wine and beer menu. So the drinks are a little bit expensive, um, actually more expensive than a lot of the food. So you are going to, like if you are planning on going and just to know that, it's nice to relax and have a drink, but you're definitely playing some Disney prices there. For the kids menu, they have a variety of options. Again, not overly extensive, but they do have some typical sort of grilled chicken or cheeseburgers for $8. We've had a lot of great meals here. It's such a great relaxing place to just sit down and sort of decompress from the busy day of the Magic Kingdom or wherever you might be. When we've been here, we've had the kids cheeseburger, that's $7.69 steak sandwich, which is $16, which I really enjoy. We've tried a few of the beers here, specifically the Rogue's Dead Guy Ale, which is $9.25. We had the Mickey Brownie, which is $5.49. And we also had the turkey sandwich with chips, which was $12. And another great sort of meal there was that turkey sandwich. We really enjoy it. Yeah, I think the kids cheeseburger was pretty simple. So if you've got picky eaters, you know, it's pretty plain. I'm sure you can add stuff onto it to their tastes. The, for me, the favorite was definitely the turkey sandwich with chips. I felt that it was really fresh. I enjoyed the sandwich and waffle fries are so fun. I don't, we don't get those too often. So I definitely enjoyed that and trying a couple of their fun drinks. From a value and price perspective, right now there's no Disney dining plans due to COVID. However, historically, it's been a counter service credit, which is a great value. Food prices are always very decent and what you'd expect for a bar here at Disney. And it's even slightly cheaper than my favorite bar, which is Hangar Bar. So, you know, just in general, it's a pretty good value for what you get. It's easy to usually get a table here and you can sit down and just enjoy the open atmosphere, uh, which is great. 
In terms of overall and recommendation, I think that this is a terrific location to relax on a hot summer day and enjoy one of their fun signature drinks. It's a great way to spend an evening after you've been at the parks to relax. You know, we really do enjoy this hotel and every time we go, we make a point to visit Geyser's Point. And I do personally love the outside and the open air design is perfect for Florida weather. Even in the winter, if it does get cooler, they do have little heaters. So, you know, regardless of the time of year, it's it's fun to check it out. There's a lot of covered seating as well. So even when it's raining, I just, they've got it, they've got it all there. And I do enjoy being outside as much as possible. So it's definitely worth checking out. And even if you're having a non-park day and you're staying at another hotel, you know, to get on a bus and hop on over there to try one of their drinks and sit outside, and enjoy the atmosphere on the water. It's, I think it's a great way to spend an afternoon. Yeah, there's just something about getting off one of those boats from the Magic Kingdom, walking down that that uh, path and just going to Geyser's Point, sitting down and just sort of decompressing. The chairs are great. They're very big and you can kind of sit back in them and relax. You know, we've always had a good time here. You know, the, as soon as we get off the airplane, this is usually where we go. Uh, even at night, again, they do have the heaters and you just get to see Bay Lake and, you know, you just get to kind of enjoy, hear the sounds of the Magic Kingdom and relax. So we highly suggest you try this restaurant. If you have tried it, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Food here has always been really, really good. So let us know what you've eaten. And uh, we do have a few other Disney dining options and restaurants that we've reviewed. So if you're interested in those, there should be a playlist coming up. Thank you very much and happy travel. 